welcome to the Event Santa Cruz Radio Show. Again, we're back and we have Consuelo Alba. How you doing, Consuelo? I'm doing okay. Uh, as, <laughs> as, as, as you could be, I guess. But, so you are the executive director of the Watsonville Film Festival? Yes, executive okay. director and co-founder of co -founder. the Watsonville Film Festival. Yes. So, so this is an amazing festival. When did it start and what was like the initial idea of putting this together? Sure. Uh, it started in 2011 with a conversation with Jacob Martinez. And it always starts with Jacob Martinez. Right? <laughs> Everything that happens. <laughs> so we were having beer. Uh, it was October Fest, and my husband and I had been in several film festivals with our own documentary film, mm -hmm. Elan Dalon, The Healer, and he was making films with students. Okay. He had a program. We started talking about, we're making films in what? Watsonville and we are traveling and we're sharing our work but we don't have a place to do it here yeah. and we were like what about just bringing all together and presenting a program to the community and we call it Watsonville Film Festival and it was just like you know let's just do this celebrate the local talent and it was an instant hit yes yeah. yes it became a big thing right so away 2011 so th this was year number nine well, actually, that's when we started the conversation. The first Watsonville Film Festival took place in 2012. Okay, yeah. So this is this would be our eighth annual Watsonville Film Festival. So what was going to... I mean, every year it seems like there's a little bit of a theme. There's like certain things that are um, a feel for it. What was special about... The, the March edition of 2020 Film Festival? Uh, we were very, very excited about our program. Uh, the theme was Stories Matter, and we work all year to put it together. We have 20 films that were amazing, are amazing. Yeah. We're hoping to be able to share them later on. So, uh, it, it just to our listeners know, so you had to actually cancel it because of the coronavirus. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm sorry, um, let's talk about that. Let's let's talk about how, as event you know, producer myself, I, I really, I like my heart just like sunk when I heard you, you know, I had to, to cancel. What was, how did that, that decision process happen from, okay, we're gonna continue, even though we know that's like, you know, this there's a chance that's happening to where, okay, we have to cancel it. How did that happen? That's right. Uh, very hard decision, very stressful times. Uh, our festival was scheduled to be from March 12th okay. through the 15th. Uh, we had to, uh, we were going back and forth since Saturday. Okay, we so started, tomorrow, it was going to start tomorrow. Yeah, it was going to start tomorrow and yeah. we made the announcement last night that we had to cancel. So it was just like super, super stressful. We started looking at all these scenario evolving constantly Saturday. We released a letter on Sunday saying uh, we are aware of the situation we are taking every precaution to make sure that the festival is safe and this is what we're doing basically following the health yeah. department recommendations and this is what we ask what we are asking you to do because yeah. we were like we can do this we can uh, just follow all these recommendations and make it happen in a good way. Yeah, which I was super excited about. I was like, okay, it's continuing, and I know it's there, it's different than other some other events where like, okay, we'll just reschedule. But you have people coming from everywhere, right? Yes, we have many special guests coming, one from Mexico City, from Los Angeles, from Napa, from the Bay Area. We had 12 people coming to the Watsonville Film Festival in the next few days. We had an amazing program, stories and films and filmmakers and talent that otherwise wouldn't be in this region. Do you feel, and I feel like I, I feel this, um, I mean, everybody knows it was a super hard thing for you to do. Do you feel like you've had a lot of support from the community? Yes. That you've canceled it? Like, if people have reached out to you? <sighs> yes, it yeah. was very, very hard. We called an emergency meeting last night because on up to 3 p.m. yesterday, we were sending emails saying, it's on, this is the plan, come, we're so excited to have you, we have an amazing program at 3 p.m. And things kept evolving, so at some point we were ready to release the second massive email oh, to no. everyone, and that's when we saw the news about Curve, 
you know that yeah. that famous graphic curve the um the 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 possibility of spreading yeah. this yeah i mean it became from the conversation quickly changed from like uh let's not panic about this let's be prepared to this is a health a public health issue yeah. and we it, have a responsibility yeah. as an organization mm -hmm. to keep everyone safe and uh, then at that point we were like okay this, we have to have a separate conversation right now. We talk with uh, leaders in the community as well, and we called a meeting last night and had to make this very, very difficult decision. So it was, I mean, it was your decision, you and your, your team. It with wasn't my board, like, yeah, yes. It wasn't like, a, um, like the state of California is telling you do not have it because, I mean, legally we could have these events. Yes. But you felt that it was important about just for the for the community yes uh, we love films but we love our community yeah. even more and we want everybody to be safe and this is a very serious situation and it's unpredictable yeah it's unpredictable we started hearing a lot of people being nervous being scared and when it moved the conversation moved to from let's take precautions to let's make sure we control you know the spread of this yeah. That's when we said, okay, we have to pull the plug, which was very, very hard. We sent the official announcement uh, at midnight last night. Is that what I saw? I think I actually saw it. Then. Yeah, I was up. Yeah, doing it. Um, so what's next? Like, what, what is it? Do you plan on rescheduling it? Do you plan on like, okay, just next year it's going to be even bigger and better? Or what's what's next for the Santa, for the Watsonville Film Festival? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. It's yeah. really hard to know right now because we don't know what's going to happen with the coronavirus it's situation. In two months, can you do it again? Exactly. We don't know. We don't know. It's yeah. really hard to prepare. It's really hard to plan because this is just the beginning. We're yeah. just trying at this point to contain these. Uh, I don't know if you are aware, but the World Health Organization just declared this is a global pandemic. Yeah. It's very serious. And we don't know. This is something we, none of us know. Yeah. So what can the public do to support the Watsonville Film Festival? Is there something we can do now? Anything? Well, thank you for asking yeah. that question because um, we are in the process of figuring out what uh, the repercussions of this decision. Uh, we are canceling flights, we're canceling, trying to cancel everything that we arrange around the festival, and uh, we are trying to return items that we were going to have at the festival, concessions and all these things. Definitely, you lost money. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, it's... That yes. was a big expense. Yes, yeah. it's a major expense. Yeah. But the most important part for us, our biggest concern is the loss of this important event for our community. The place, the gathering to share these stories that are so important and, you know, make you connect and reflect and talk. We are devastated, yeah. but we know it's the right decision and it has repercussions. The way people can support us is by you know, maybe we are getting the, uh, having these conversations actually since we announced our decision. People are approaching us about donating their tickets, oh, okay. not asking for refunds okay. because they understand our situation. We are hearing from some sponsors to, to, who are saying, Yes, we did, you know, we, you didn't have this event. We understand. Uh, let's figure out something. Uh, but definitely, uh, you know, just being able to recoup from this is going to be uh, crucial for yeah. our organization. It's a very small nonprofit running in Watsonville with 90% uh, volunteers. You know, it's just yeah. very small and it, this is a big thing for us. So if somebody wants to do that, somebody wants to help, um, what is the website? Is that probably the best way to get a hold of you? Yes, that's the best way. They, our website is watsonvillefilmfest.org. Okay. And yes, uh, we are going to be updating everyone on our plans. Uh, we have other events throughout the year. We organize the, ba the big Day of the Dead celebration at the plaza every year. It's going to be our third year this uh, this fall. So there is a lot 
that we are hoping to do after yeah. this. No, it, it doesn't stop here. Exactly. Yeah, there's always something. Well, thank you so much. We're, you know, we love the Watsonville Film Festival. We think it's a, such a, a jewel of the community. And, um, you know, it, it, it breaks our heart that it didn't happen. But, you know, and we also, I just applaud you for, for making the hard decision. Because, again, it was not easy and it probably... You know, just like I know I felt the same way, kind of like when I found out I couldn't do the next days, it kind of like your heart just sinks that you can't do it. Because you've been working for a whole year on this. Yes. Yeah, and yes. the audience get, did not get to be, and benefit, but they will. And they get a benefit from all that the, fil the film festival provides. So thank you very much. Everybody go to, what's the website again? Watsonville Film Festival. No, I'm sorry. Watsonville Film Fest. Dot org. WatsonvilleFilmFest.org. Okay, thank you so much, Consuelo. Thank you, Matt. Okay, we're going to play... Um